Hello everyone. How do you check the performance of a classifier with more than two classes? Will accuracy be a good evaluation criteria in this case? Will it also depend on factors like individual class distribution? In this video, I'll help you understand micro and macro precision. So let's get started. Firstly, I'll import the necessary modules. I have three classes A, B and C and I have their actual and predicted values contained in two entities namely act underscore balanced and pred underscore balanced which are two pandas series objects. The distribution of each of the classes of the three classes are equal that is actual contains 10 samples of A, B and C respectively. As you all know, precision is basically the ratio of true positives upon the true uh, sum of true positives plus false positives. So let's see how precision micro and precision uh, macro vary in their implementation and how does it impact the overall performance of a multi-class classifier. Okay. I first print out the confusion matrix and this is how the confusion matrix looks like. Now if I just calculate the precision score for individual classes, this is the value that I get. I get the ratio of true positives for class A upon the ratio of true positives of class A plus false positives of class A. The precision for class A is 0.67, the precision for class B is 0.54 and the precision of class C is 0.5 which you can verify from this given confusion matrix. Now what exactly is macro precision? Okay, we will cover this. So macro precision is basically the precision of individual classes and you divide it by the number of classes which are there. So in our case we have three classes. We have calculated the individual precisions that is uh, 0 0.67, 0 0.54 and 0.5. We will add the three and divide it by three. Okay, so now the macro average for precision in our case if I do it using normal numpy and python comes out to be 0.57 okay and there is an option in the library itself wherein you can just specify what kind of an average you want if I specify macro I'll get the same value which is 0 0.5707 okay now there's something called as micro as well let's see what micro does we will cover that going ahead but let's see how is it different or what is it what is the difference it gives you when you have balanced classes. Now if you see for micro the values are very close to the macro values. We will cover what is micro going ahead but yeah there is very limited difference between the micro and macro when there are balanced classes. Okay. I hope this point is clear. Now we will see how micro comes into picture when you have class imbalance. Okay. So micro average of precision is basically calculated by taking the sum of all true positives per class, taking the sum of true positives in the denominator plus taking the sum of true uh, false positives in the denominator, adding the values and calculating a overall micro average of precision and not macro. Macro was different, micro is different. Okay. Now I have introduced an imbalanced class distribution for the three classes where a has 20 samples, B has 5 samples and C has 5 samples in this case. I create a confusion matrix. So this is how the confusion matrix looks like. Now the individual precisions if you look, the first class has which is class A has a precision of 0.61. The second class has a precision of 0.42 and the third class is doing really bad. Uh, it has a precision score of 0.2. Okay, now what I do is I calculate the macro average. The macro is basically the sum of individual precisions divided by the total number of classes which turns out to be 0 0.41. Micro on the other hand what it would do is it would calculate true positives per class and calculate the ratio as you have seen above and come up with a value 0 0.5. So now what micro tells you is micro gives you a holistic view about how your overall classifier is working even in the case of class imbalance. 
So even though this classifier is skewed towards class A or it has more samples towards class A, it's still doing a decent job which my uh, macro precision score is not able to capture. So a thumb rule which I could recommend is if you have class imbalances for a multi-class problem, then always go in for micro precision, micro recall and micro F1 score when you have to evaluate a classifier. I hope all of this kind of makes sense and helps you understand where you can use all of this. I hope this video was informative. Uh, do stay tuned for more videos. Do subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching.